welcome back to my channel guys. I'm really excited to be doing this video. It's a little bit different than most videos that I would have been doing but um, I just bought a few things this weekend and I really wanted to show them to you guys mainly because it was for this channel and for my Instagram and book writing account. Um, I am trying a new background kind of thing um, just to I like this a little bit better than before. Um, so I wanted to go ahead and get started. So this weekend I had to go to Michael's to get a few things um, that were unrelated to this video. But while I was in there I just couldn't help myself from getting a couple bookish things and I was super super excited to pick these up because um, I'd been wanting a few of them for a while. So a couple of the first things were, whoops, I almost dropped something. <laughs> And you might be able to see like what a few of them are, I don't know, in the camera. But basically, um, I know a lot of bookstagrammers, they use, um, uh, what's it called exactly? A scrapbooking paper. That's what it's called. Um, it's called scrapbooking paper, but they use um, sheets of scrapbooking paper to make their backgrounds. Um, and look really cute and things like that. So I had wanted a couple of those. Um, and I did take a couple pictures with um, one of the ones that I got, but I haven't posted it yet. But um, basically one of the first um, sheets that I picked up was this one. It's like a nice wooden um, looking material. And I got four sheets of it, so I placed all four um, on the ground and like arranged my book and all the things in it kind of on this paper. And it does have these little... Um, white strips on the bottom but usually I just cover those up in the picture and you can't see it anyway but I really really love this um, wooded thing because it looks just like a nice natural wood and a lot of books look really great with it so that's what I was really excited about um, so I really liked this one um, and I actually I'll show you what book I used in the picture with this um, paper so while I was, after I went to Michael's, I stopped at Target, and usually I don't buy books from Target. Usually I just buy off at Amazon because it's cheaper um, than most bookstores and things like that. But I just had a splurge because usually I'll go into Target. I don't know if you do this too, but I'll go into these bookstores and I see things I like. I add it to my list of things that I'm going to buy off Amazon, and then I never buy them because I just don't think about it. I'm the kind of person that I see a book and I want it. I'm not going to like come back later. And, but that's kind of like all things for me. Anything that I see and don't buy then I'm probably never going to buy. Not because I don't want it, but because I forget about it. So I just had to get these books while I was in there. But I picked up this book, um, Tell Me, yeah, Tell Me Three Things by Julie Buxbaum. Buxbaum? I'm not sure how you say her last name, but, um, so I picked up this book, Tell Me Three Things, and these are grilled cheese, it's not waffles. I thought they were waffles. But um, this is the book that I took to take a picture on. The, well, I didn't buy it to get a picture of this, but <laughs> I took a picture of this book with this background, and it looked really good. I'm going to post it on my um, bookstagram hopefully soon. But that was my first thing that I got, and I'll talk to you more about this book in a second. But I wanted to go through all my things. So then I bought one other, if I can get it. One other background, goodness, um, and it was this white brick, and I really, really loved, loved this white brick. I saw this first, um, basically because I wanted something simple and like that everything could go with, and white had always been in my mind, but I knew I wanted something with a little more texture to kind of add to everything, and I haven't used this in a picture yet, but I also bought four sheets of this, um, oops. And it was super, super cute though. Um, and I think one of the other books that I got at Target, basically because I saw that this was a um, TV series that I had wanted to see, so I wanted to read the book first because, oh, and the bookmark fell out. That's so disappointing. But because um, I have started reading this and don't have my place marked anymore, but I thought like gold and things like that would look really good on this. But hopefully we'll be able to see that soon. But this is just the other one that I picked up. Um, for the background pictures. Then I was just kind of looking around through the scrapbooking things and ran across a few other just sheets of it that I really loved and could not stop myself from buying. Even though scrapbooking paper is so expensive. So I really loved this background piece and I wouldn't just keep the um, 
whole sheet in the picture I would kind of like cut pieces and lay them into the picture and you'll see how I use it if you follow my Instagram AAL routine um, you'll see how I'm planning to use this sheet but lots of bookstagrammers put maps and things into their pictures so I saw this and I just had to pick it up because I thought it was super cute it's so so bookish though I mean you've got your calligraphy pen you have some classes a travel log watches I mean it's just it's all there so I had to get it then um, the next thing I saw was this gold and blue pineapple sheet which um, it's kind of random but I just thought it'd be cute to add a little color pop um, I liked kind of the gold thing because um, I think the gold looks really cute in pictures and again I would not use this whole sheet in a picture but I thought it was really awesome um, I just wanted to add a little spunk and I saw this and it was super cute so gold pineapples hopefully I have something that will go with it but I think I'll be able to make it work it looked really cute with the white too um, then I was super happy to come across this sheet um, so basically it's a scrapbooking sheet that is just entirely made of quotes so I thought it'd be cute to just like cut them out individually and add them to book pictures because that's I just really love quotes quotes are like my favorite thing ever especially um, when they have to do with writing struggles and reading struggles so um, I really liked this sheet and I thought it'd be cool to incorporate and it also added a bit of color but my favorite one that I got hopefully you'll be able to see in the shot but it's a clear sheet um, actually I know what I can do but it was a clear sheet and it has gold writing on it and it's so pretty um, and one of the things that I really liked that it said in it was um, write the book that you want to read um, and that was really cool to me because this that's basically describes um, a lot for writers um, and I'm and I really like to write so I thought that'd be cute to have in a bookish thing but um, I'll put it up behind and it looked really good as an overlay on this so that's kind of whoops what it looks like when it's over something it really brings out the um, gold but I thought it was super cool um, to have this little thing so next up um, oh yeah so I have these two little stamps one is an airplane and the other just says Bon Voyage and they were in the dollar well not really the dollar section but I yeah I guess it was the dollar section in Michaels and I thought it was super cute because I just thought they'd be little cute knickknacks to kind of add into pictures and things like that so I just picked those up not to actually stamp anything but just to decorate because that's what bookish people do they buy things and they don't use them for their purpose so that's that um, then I also came across this next and I really I have already written on one of them so you can get an example of what I'm using them for um, but it's a whole pack it comes with nine I think but I'm never going to use all nine because they're chalkboard stickers so you can write on them with chalk and I use chalk paint markers or something like that but you can write anything you want on them in chalk and um, just erase it and write something new so I thought that was cool um, and so what I did is I didn't actually peel the sticker off because I want to reuse them and since the backgrounds clear I can lay it on any of my picture um, designs and it looks like it was just stuck on there and it was super cute so I had used this one and I wrote new buy on it when I took a picture of this book um, to put on my bookstagram so I really thought that was cute because I could write all kinds of different things um, on those so that's what I got that for then um, I don't know if you've seen them but at Michael's they have these cute agenda things that you can make yourself and they sell different stickers and things with them and they're super super cute but they're also really expensive but they sell these little um, book things to go with them which have little stickers in them to help you like stick in your agenda to make it look super cute and add notes and things but there's like a billion of them so I spent like an hour probably just trying to figure out which booklet I wanted because they're all the same price but they all have different amount of pieces but I picked out the one that I thought would be best for the bookstagram so I picked out this one um, which is the memory planning one and it has 472 pieces but it has different things in it like these um, little quote things um, here's some clear quotes some noted stuff um, 
Let me see. I really love the watercolor thing. It's like my favorite thing ever. But, um, and I thought it was really um, good for the book thing because it says things like snapshot, snapshot, coffee, love this. And I thought I could use a couple of those stickers in my um, in my pictures because I think it really is a lot of things that have to do with bookish reading stuff. Um, a couple of my favorite ones, um, if I can find the oh. No, that's not it, I don't think. Let me find it. Uh, oh, yeah. These were super cute. Like, the Polaroid and the camera stickers and stuff was adorable. Um, I used a sheet in my last bookstagram picture. I used this sheet right here, which is, like, coffee. I love food, basically because this had food on it. Um, but I did this one, and what I did was I cut out one of these stickers because I didn't want to unstick it and stick it on something. I wanted to be able to reuse it. So this is the piece that I cut out, and it says brunch. Um, I don't know if you can read it. It's kind of small. But it said brunch, and I just kind of stuck it in my picture. <laughs> um, sorry, my camera, it just decided to turn off because I guess this video was too long. But I just turned it back on. <laughs> so um, this, the, that's what I thought was really cool about this book. So I'll read you the synopsis of it and um, why I picked it up. Um, and then I can read you this back little thing that she had on here that has to go with the story, but I thought the front cover was super cute. It drew me in, so there's that. But, um, here is the synopsis. You're right. This place is a war zone, and I could use some help. Jessie has started her junior year at an ultra-intimidating L.A. prep school where she knows no one except for her new stepmonsters step monster's pretentious teenage son. Just when she's thinking about hightailing it back to Chicago, to her friends who understand she's still grieving the death of her mother, she gets an email from a person calling themselves Somebody Nobody, SN for short, offering to help her navigate the wilds of Wood Valley High School, or offering to help her navigate the wilds of Wood Valley High School. In a leap of faith, or an act of complete desperation, Jessie begins to rely on SN, and SN quickly becomes her lifeline and closest ally. Jessie can't help wanting to meet SN in person, but are some mysteries better left unsolved? So then the back, the little conversation between the two is it says, Me, tell me three things I don't know about you. You know, besides your name and, well, everything else. SN, okay. One, I make a killer girl cheese. Two, if you met me a year ago, I was a totally different person. Three, I don't know. Maybe keep this one to myself. Me, come on, you keep everything to yourself. SN, three, I like you. Me, three, I like you too. So I thought that would be just a cute little love story read thing. And what's funny is I'm not really into like realistic fiction stuff for the most part, but recently I found that like depending on what it is, I can get into it. So I really liked the, um, and I like the way that these ones are set up with like little messages because that makes it in a really fast read, which I like a lot and I think it's cute. So that's that book. Um, then I picked up the book Famous in Love, which is by Rebecca Searle. Um, and I really, really liked this book mainly because, and I probably wouldn't have read it if it was good, wasn't a TV sh series, show, whatever, <laughs> but I probably wouldn't have read it, but basically um, I really had wanted to see the show, and I still do, and I'm a couple weeks behind, but that's okay, because um, I'm trying to read this super fast so that I can watch the show, but um, I just saw this when I was walking in Target, and I was like, oh my gosh, that's a book? I didn't even know, so I picked it up because who wants to read the book, or... <laughs> <laughs> who wants to watch the show before they read the book so I picked it up and I guess there's a sequel too which is pretty cool um, but I'm gonna read you the synopsis but basically it sounds exactly like the previews for the movie if you haven't seen those but I don't know how similar it is I just started it and I haven't seen the show so I don't know but the synopsis is when Paige Townsend gets plucked from obscurity to star in the movie adaption of a blockbuster book series, her life changes practically overnight. Within a month, Paige is on a bustling film set and is spending quality time with her co-star, Rainer Devon, one of people's sexiest men alive. 
But then, troubled star Jordan Wilder lands the role of the other point in the movie's famous love triangle, and Paige's crazy new life begins to resemble her characters. In this exciting tale of romance and drama, both on and off screen, Paige must figure out who she is and who she wants, as the whole world watches. So, that's cool. And the sequel is called Truly Madly Famously, if you're interested. And I kind of hate that the cover is the picture from the show. I don't know why. I just like professionals better. But then this next one is a little, a little weird, but I ordered this one off of Amazon. Um, and I had been wanting to read the book Matched for a while, and it's by Ali Condi, I believe. And I had been wanting to read that for a while, but um, I also... Um, in like really into learning the Spanish language I've been kind of doing that for I've been learning it since kindergarten but I haven't really like dove into it until recently and just recently um, I got a pen pal from Spain and that has been an amazing amazing experience um, but that's thanks to my Spanish teacher who really helped to kick that off but she had said that she was reading her first English book and I was like, wow, that's so cool. You know, what a great way to learn a language by reading, especially when, for me, like, I love to read, and that's a great way for me to learn things. So I found a book that I really had wanted to read in English, and I decided to get it in Spanish. And basically, so I got matched, and it says Juntos, because it's the Spanish version, and the whole synopsis is in Spanish. So I'm not going to read it to you. Um, especially because you'd watch me sitting here trying to translate it to you in my mind. But I can pull up, I don't think I have my phone up here, so I'm not going to do that. But um, if you want it, you can just look up Matched by Ali Condi. And I might even post it in the description box for you guys if you want it. But um, basically, I ordered this book because I wanted to read it in English. And what my plan is, is to take like chapter one, and just kind of read through it kind of slow like making sure that I understand everything completely and I'm gonna go through and highlight any of the words that I don't know and kind of make a personal dictionary to help myself in the future because it's helped me a lot to talk every day to someone in Spanish who's my pen pal so I think it'll help a lot to read the language as well and then I'm eventually hoping to get to the point where we can FaceTime or something but for now my first Spanish book so I'm gonna have to tell you guys how that goes but you have to give me a while to read it because obviously it's gonna take longer than a normal book but I thought it was super awesome I'm like I'm just really excited to start this so um, thank you guys so much for watching my kind of mega mega haul for my book account but um, it's a little random video but I was super excited to film it so please stay tuned for more and subscribe to my channel bye guys